It is Tuesday, December 20th. Today, Meta says its AI campaigns are getting much better, and some brands agree. Twitter adds another badge to its growing list of verification marks. Tumblr jumps on board the live streaming trend. Microsoft applies for a new ad patent. And Adobe's new tool may make cleaning up your audio much easier. I'm Todd Maffin. Here's what you missed today in digital marketing. So what's on your marketing Christmas list this year? According to Meta Claus, what you really want are more automated campaigns. Earlier today, the company released a new report on how marketers are seeing success with its latest AI-powered ad product, Advantage Shopping Campaigns. If you need to refresh on how this works, what advertisers do is simply select their target country, daily budget, and campaign objective. Then Meta's AI does the rest by pooling audiences, budgets, and creative assets into a single campaign and automatically selecting the most effective creative asset for those most likely to convert. In a recent test with more than 30 advertisers, Meta found that Advantage Plus shopping campaigns improved cost per acquisition by about 20% and return on ad spend by about a third compared to traditional campaigns. When looking at more specific brand data, the apparel brand Hollister tested the campaign type back in September and saw a 20% increase in ROAS and a 10% lower cost per purchase, which led the company to allocate most of its Black Friday and Cyber Monday investments to the AI ad type. Keep in mind that the data is provided by Meta, and I'm guessing they're probably not sharing the ones where the Advantage Plus did not perform, so take that for what you will. Twitter has added more badges. The company announcing Blue for Business this week, its new subscription offering for brands. Last week, the platform relaunched Twitter Blue for individuals, but assigned gold check marks to business accounts. Now it adds another badge that lets businesses distinguish their brands, and this time, employees associated with those companies. Subscribers will get a small badge next to their profile display name. The badge will look like the logo of the company, identifying that they work for the organization. The company said businesses can link their leadership, brands, support handles, employees, or teams with the feature. Then each affiliate, as they're being called, will be verified and officially linked to their parent handle based on a list provided by the parent business. It's not clear yet how much Twitter will charge for Blue for Business or what other perks it will offer other than, well, badges. They are testing this right now in the wild. It may be a few weeks before it rolls out more widely. While it may be late to the party, Tumblr this week announced live streaming capabilities. In the past, Tumblr supported streaming via other services like YouTube and so on. But the new option, called Tumblr Live, is described as a native streaming service. They got the technology from Livebox. Livebox lets users tip streamers and will let you pay Tumblr creators in a virtual currency they call Diamonds. Livebox also offers human and AI-powered moderation of streams, and streamers can designate trusted viewers as moderators. So far, the streaming service only works with people's primary Tumblr blogs, not any side blogs. It is being rolled out in the U.S. on iOS and Android, with plans for expansion in the future. This holiday, you will be competing with a whole lot of other marketers in your customers' emails, on their social feeds, inside the videos they watch. Maybe this year it's time to break the conventional wisdom and go back to the time-proven tactic of direct mail, but not your grandfather's direct mail. A marketing technology company called Navistone has reinvented direct mail. It uses digital intent signals to allow advertisers and agencies to leverage direct mail for retargeting, consumer acquisition, and more. The Nevistone platform enables simple, always-on marketing for high-consideration consumer purchases. They work with hundreds of brands across industries who see really impressive conversion rates and return on ad spend. If you are looking for some new ideas to drive customer acquisition in high-value consumer categories, Navistone is worth considering. And listeners of this podcast can get 20% off the first month of any project for their brand or client brand by visiting them at navistone.com slash today in digital. That's N-A-V-I-S-T-O-N-E dot com slash today in digital. That's the sound of another sale on Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. Join the platform simplifying commerce for millions of businesses worldwide. Shopify covers all the sales channels covered, from an in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform, even across social media platforms. 
Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash podcast free, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash podcast free to start selling online today. A recent patent filed by Microsoft suggests personalized ads are coming for video gamers. The patent describes a system that would serve personalized ads and other content to Xbox gamers while they're playing cloud-based or internet-connected games. The tech intends to display overlaid video content customized for a player in real time concurrently with gameplay without changing any features of the video game. Microsoft said that the ads will appear at locations that are continuously visible. According to drawings in the patent, those locations could include a display behind the goal of a soccer game, billboards on a highway, or the clothes of a game avatar sporting a product name or logo. According to the patent, this technology will not interfere with gameplay experience. They claim it is a seamless integration. And that will bring us to the lightning round. Adobe recently released an AI-powered audio processing tool called Enhanced Speech. It can enhance some poor quality voice recordings by removing background noise and making the voice sound more powerful. When it works, the recording can apparently sound like it was made in a professional sound booth with a high-quality microphone, even if it was actually recorded in a bathroom stall. The tool is free but requires an Adobe account. TikTok announced a new feature today that lets users see why your brand's video showed up in their For You feed. Now users can peep the algorithm by tapping the question mark called Why This Video in the share panel of their For You feed. From there, they can see reasons why a particular video was recommended to them. And Instagram has released a new end-of-the-year wrapped feature that lets brands and users create a 2022 recap reel from their content. But there's more. You can choose to have your video narrated by artists like Bad Bunny, DJ Khalid, Pryor Ferguson from Stranger Things. The template started rolling out yesterday and will be available for several weeks. Santa bought me a new Mac laptop with Apple Silicon. It was due to arrive today. I mean, it technically still is, but we got like 15 centimeters of snow overnight. I don't think I'm getting anything today. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow. 